Raise a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Welcome to Lamp and Light Scripture Study, a journey through the sacred scripture guided by the unchanging teaching of the Holy Catholic Church. Come along to discover the untold riches and inexhaustible treasures that await you in God's holy word. Matthew chapter 3 And in those days cometh John the Baptist, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Do penance, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. A voice of one crying in the desert, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. And the same John had his garment of camel's hair, and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. They went out to him in Jerusalem and all Judea, and all the country about Jordan, and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. And seeing many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, Ye brood of vipers, who hath showed you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruit worthy of penance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham for our father. For I tell you that God is able of these stones to raise up children to Abraham. For now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree therefore that doth not yield good fruit shall be cut down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you in the water unto penance, but he that shall come after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire, whose hand is in his hand, and he will thoroughly cleanse his floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to the Jordan unto John to be baptized by him. But John stayed him, saying, I ought to be baptized by thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answering said to him, Suffer it to be so now, for so it becometh us to fulfill all justice. Then he suffered him. And Jesus being baptized, forthwith came out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and coming upon him. And behold, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 13, we read, Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to the Jordan unto John to be baptized by him. This is remarkable, and we are going to ask the question, Why was Jesus baptized? And we're going to try to answer it. There may be several answers, but the primary reason is stated in the passage. For so it becometh us to fulfill all justice. Jesus is identifying himself with sinful mankind. Isaiah had prophesied that he would be reputed or numbered or counted with the wicked. Here is a king who identifies himself with his subjects. Actually, John, John's baptism means identification, and I believe identification was the primary purpose for the baptism of the Lord Jesus by St. John the Baptist. And the reason I say this is because of his statement to John, which was, quote, For so it becometh us to, to fulfill all justice, unquote. Understand that Jesus was holy, harmless, undefiled, and separated from sinners. He was baptized to completely identify himself with humanity. There is a second reason for the baptism of Jesus. At this time he was set aside for his office of priest. The Holy Spirit came upon him for this priestly ministry. Everything that Jesus did, his every act, was done by the power of the Holy Spirit. Quote him who knew no sin, he hath made sin, or made a sin offering for us, that we might be made the justice of God in him. Second Corinthians chapter five verse twenty one. There was sin on him, but there was no sin in him. 
My sin was put on him, not in him. That is an important distinction. As the Catechism of the Council of Trent has said, John's baptism and the sacramental baptism we have received are not the same thing. But we must understand that through our water baptism, we are saved by being identified with him. We identify with him in baptism. Even St. Peter, our first pope, says that we are saved by baptism. In what way? By being identified with the Lord Jesus. To be saved is to be in Christ. How do we get into Christ? By the water baptism of the Holy Spirit. Let me repeat some of what I have already said. The church teaches that by water baptism we are identified with Christ. The Lord Jesus said, quote, Him that cometh to me I will not cast out. Unquote. We must recognize that we have to be identified with Christ, and that is accomplished by the Holy Spirit baptizing us by water into Christ, hence into his body, the church. One time an old salt said to a young sailor in trying to get him to accept Christ and be baptized, Young man, it is duty or mutiny. You must come to Christ and be baptized because it is a duty. If you do not, it is a mutiny. Please take the time to read and study and meditate on Romans chapter 6 as well as 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 12 through 13. Now let me read again Matthew chapter 3 verses 16 through 17. And Jesus being baptized forthwith came out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and coming upon him. And behold, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Here we have a manifestation of the Trinity. As the Lord Jesus is coming out of the water, the Spirit of God descends upon him like a dove, and the Father speaks from heaven. The Father says, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings, is now identified with his people. Next week, Lord willing, we will study the threefold temptation of Jesus. Until next time, may the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord show his face to thee and have mercy on thee. And may the Lord turn his countenance to thee and give thee peace. You have been listening to Lamp and Light Scripture Study, a journey through the sacred scriptures, guided by the unchanging teaching of the Holy Catholic Church. Tune in again next time to discover even more untold riches and inexhaustible treasures that await you in God's Holy Word. We look forward to spending time with you again soon, and tell your friends about us too. May God bless you.